So I am a single mom, a single mom with two children. My son Miles is 15, he'll be 16 next month. He started at Brookstone since kindergarten. And then I have London, and she's been at Brookstone since kindergarten, and she's just following in her brother's footsteps. I've been blessed with two really, really great kids, and I didn't do it alone. It takes a village. Brookstone is really my village. Brookstone is, is a school, but it goes beyond a school. In terms of their education, their socialization, self-confidence, the opportunity for connection, this can be a life-changing place for them. A big focus for us is creating connections for our students, both within the school as well as outside the school. We want them to see, through a wider lens, all the opportunities that they can strive for and to see themselves as stepping into that with sure-footed confidence that they are equipped. Well, Santiago and I began being lunch buddies when he was in second grade. He was a little nervous when I first came in because they took him to the library and he wasn't sure why he was there, but he thought he was in trouble. And here comes a stranger, they think somebody, I guess, from the administration. And then as soon as he found out what was really going on, he just beamed a smile. And now he's 13. And just seeing him blossom and grow, his intellectual curiosity, his enthusiasm, there's just great joy in observing that and being a part of it. My partner's student's name is Biak. I learn something about her each time I, I see her. I know that Biak is a science girl. Whoa. Every little detail you learn just gets them to tell you more about their lives. That makes Brookstone a home for them because they've got you know, their teachers and then they've got all kinds of different volunteers to come and rely on when they get here. This is an amazing school. I love it. First of all, it's private, so we get to like learn some fifth grade stuff. It kind of makes me feel smart. <laughs> Brookstone has a lot of amazing people here, and they encourage people to what they want to be and what their passion is, and feels amazing. People actually care about like kids. You know, as Christians, what we know is that if we think of our students tapping into those roots, the key to that is love, really. I mean, you can provide opportunities, you can provide resources, but when you're connecting students to people who really have a heart to love these kids and to, to show them the grace and the love that comes from Christ, that's, that covers everything. And I don't want to cry, I, I don't. However, there's a teacher there. She was Miles' second grade teacher and his fourth grade teacher. And every summer, she takes some of the students to Paul Meadow Bible Camp. And that is where Miles gave his life to Jesus Christ. And so again, here it is, someone from Brookstone Schools. And because of opportunities that they have allotted, he then gave his life to Christ, which is just totally amazing because that is, to me, the beginning and the end of all things. And so with that, it just gives them that confidence to know who they are and that they can go out here and do and become anything that they set their mind to. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Brookstone will always be a part of me. No matter what I go through in life, no matter how old I get in life, they will always be something that will always stick in my heart because they they raised me. They raised me to be the person I am right now and the person I am going to be later on in life and what I can teach my kids and what my kids can teach their kids and hopefully in later on in life my kids will go to Brookstone and they have a steady foundation from going to that school academically and spiritually. We're coming here and we're giving you know our time and we're giving our talent and our treasure. Um, I just feel like I'm getting it back exponentially. Just. They smile, you know, they tell you about their day. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's real. Hey, Biak! We have our own TV show. 
Isn't this fun? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not our TV show. But we can pretend it is, right? She is. I think the part in the day where we had to dress up in those funny things for the photo booth. Oh, yeah. Where you wore the giant glasses. Remember those giant glasses? Mm -hmm. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Well, I was, I was telling them how you like science and you like school and you love being here at Brickstone um, and that you are a very successful student. Uh, my wish for you is that you go to high school and get to study lots of science or math, whatever. They always go together, science and math. And that someday that you would be choosing some college that you might like to go to. And you get to do, pick something to do that you love. That's what I was telling you. You're special to me because um, <clears throat> it's like, You're special to me because um, you pay for my education when you don't really have to. And <laughs> what did we say? Cut? <laughs> Multi-purpose these, <laughs> these photos and notes. Multi-purpose. Well, I feel blessed to know you, and I feel blessed to be here at Brookstone and to share your experience with you. Yay! You did a good job. Aww. Yeah, well done. Good job. You are so well spoken. Yes, you Thank are. you. Have you ever heard of uh, TED Talks? Oh, that's my next mission. Really, that's my next mission here. Really